Hello children. Good morning. How are you all? So we are back to our classes again and today being Monday we are going to start with English. Always first day of the week we start with English. Is it not? Okay. So today's date is 31st. Okay. 31. Can you read this? By now you should be able to read it, right? Can you read it? 31. 31 August. Okay. So after 31, what will happen? The month will change. Okay. So there are only 30 or 31 days in a month. So tomorrow will become a new month. It will become September. So it's bye-bye to August and we are going to September. So this is 31st August 2020, last day of August, the Monday. Okay, let's get started. First, let's go to our workbook. Okay, Monday we are going to do workbook, right? Or let's uh, finish off uh, tomorrow's, uh, then we'll come to the workbook. Okay, tomorrow's work I'm going to explain you today. This, these are A words. What are these? A, you can see it. A words. By now, everybody has learned how to blend and read. Last time, I gave you only at words. So, everything will end in at. Cat, bat, sat, mat. So, that was easy. Now, what I'm going to do is, one small tweaking I'm doing. I'm going to change even the last letter. But, you know to read, is it not? So, shall we try and read it? Ka. Let's read one by one. Wherever there is an A, I've underlined it with the red. Okay. So let's get started with the first word. Kaab. Kaab. Cab. What is a cab? A cab is another way that we tell a taxi. Okay. So when you want to book a taxi or you want to book a cab, you pick up the phone. Right. So that's a taxi. Cab. You also call the taxi driver as a cabbie. Okay, cab. Cab means taxi. Next one. F an. F an. Fan. Good. Next one. L a p. L a p. Lap. B a g. Bag. B a g. Bag. I don't have to explain that to you. Mm at. Mm at. Mm at. Mat. W. Okay. W. W. X. How do you pronounce the sound? X. Like saying, I'll give you a X. Kiss. Okay, like that. W. X. W. A. Wax. Wax. What is a wax? That thing which comes from the candle. When you light a candle, you've seen the candle begins to melt and it starts flowing down. Right? It makes very beautiful patterns when it starts flowing downwards. And then it will be little gooey in the beginning. Then as it uh, cools, it becomes hard again. If you try to touch it, it will be very hot. Unless it is cooled down. So that thing which is melting and coming from the candle is called wax. A candle is made with wax. Okay. Wax. Okay. Next one. Y. This is Y. I remember last time I told you a new sound for this was E. As in 30, 40, 60, happy, granny like that. But this is the original sound. Y. 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 A. Yak, 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 yak is an animal you'll find in the snow mountains, okay, particularly the snow mountains of India in the Himalayas or in the Himachal range if you go you will see these um, yak, it is an animal, it's a very shaggy animal, okay, very hairy kind of animal, very, very hairy animal, it will have horns also, like a cow, it will look like a cow, can you imagine a cow with full of hair on it, that's a yak, it is there in your workbook, 
I just show the picture to you so that you can see now so you can understand what's a yak. Can you see the yak? The cow like animal? Yes, that's the yak. It's a very hairy animal. Okay, it's hairy because you know in the mountains, in the snow mountains, it's going to be very cold when it starts snowing, right? Correct. So, if you feel cold, you put on a jacket or a sweater. But animals, what do they do? Nobody is going to bring them uh, sweaters, right? Or cover them for that matter. They don't even have houses. They just have to walk in the snow. So, nature has protected them by having this hair on them. Okay, this hair keeps them warm. Okay, so that is why most of the animals that you see in the uh, snow mountains will be very, very hairy. Like the polar bear, the yak. Okay, any animal that you see uh, will be very hairy there in the snow mountains. Okay, okay, that is yak. So don't forget the animal yak. Next one is g g ass. G -ass gas yes like the LPG gas which mommy uses in the kitchen right there will be a red color cylinder sitting there it has gas inside it gas okay please remember this name this Friday being the first Friday of the month we are going to have science experiment and we are going to talk about gas okay gas like for example we saw that whatever we have in the air the carbon dioxide the oxygen all that is a kind of gas only okay it's a gas you can't see it okay but the gas may have sometimes it may have a smell or it may uh, you know you can't see it generally you don't see the it doesn't have a color so you can't see it but you can just feel it. For example, you can feel the wind, right? So in the wind, there will be gases mixed in it. Okay? Some gases, when the gases are not good, it, and it's giving out a very bad smell, you, you try to, huh, what's that smell you say, right? So yes, what you're inhaling is some other gas, which you do not like. Okay? Gas. It is in the air. Okay, we are going to talk about more about gas on Friday. That time I will explain you. Okay, so just now remember this. Gas, gas. Next one is sad. Sad. Sad, sad. Jam, jam. Jam, jam. So now no more at words. Now when you are going to do your oral assessment and your written assessment, you are going to blend three letters. I am not giving you big words right now. Three letters you blend and do your assessment. I am sure you can do it because most of you have done it in the pink series. Is it not? That picture card in the pink series, that long one. Yes, most of you have done and done the reading of those words also. So you will be definitely able to blend it. Okay? So this is for you to do on the first, okay, on the first of September, that is tomorrow, your homework. Today we will be doing our English workbook. So for that you have to do three pages, pages 1, 7 and 8. Easy again, not too much. See children, I am only asking you to write few words, it's very easy, you can finish it off and I am so happy that all of you have done a wonderful job i saw your book it's beautiful beautiful handwriting i can't believe it's your handwriting is your mommy holding your hand your mommy or your daddy holding your hands to make you write you're on your own very good i would say it's beautiful handwriting all of you okay so keep it up next we'll go to the workbook we are going to do page number one seven and eight come in page number one, we are going to read the words in the word bank and look for the picture and write it in the four lines. Okay. For example, let's read the first word. K -a -p. Cap. Can you see there's a picture of the cap? Great. So you know to read cap.
cap, you know how to find out where is a cap, but your challenge is writing exactly the way it has to be written within the four lines. So if you see the P has to go down. You see that? That's very important. You must know which ascender or the descender one, what, what goes up or whether it goes down, that you must know very well. I'm sure you'll do the remaining. The last one is yak. Yak. Where is the yak? You just now saw that. That's your yak. Okay, the shaggy animal on the snow mountains. So write it. Next we'll go to page number 7. Now in page number 7 we are going to learn the k words. K. C. The letter C which we pronounce it as k. Okay. So if you take a look at all these pictures. Camel. Corn. Cock. Cork is the lid of a bottle. It is not like your uh, cap which you are going to screw that you close like this. Not like that. The just press into the bottle. You just press it. Sometimes you earlier we used to get medicine bottles when Miss Juno was a little girl and all. They used to give medicines in bottle and they will just push a cork into it. Okay. So it's, it's made of wood. So they use it for as a lid. Okay. The lid is called as a cork. When you come to school, I will show you the material because we have it in the material for closing uh, containers. So that's your cork. Only the lid, okay, not the bottle. Cork. So here, cork. Last one is a cactus, a thorny plant. Cactus. Camel, corn, cork and cactus. All these begin with the sound K. C, the letter C. Okay. So you have to write here K and then trace over this. You can definitely read and blend this. K -am -l. Camel. K -orn. Corn. There's no K here. You have to write it. K Orn, corn. Write a k here. K or k. Cork. Cork. Write a k here. K ak. Again, one k is coming. K ak. Cak. T us. Tus. Cak. Tus. Cak. Us. You can read the entire word if you blend properly. Okay. So this is K. The letter C. K. Now we have one more letter on page number 8 which looks different. You know this is K. The letter K but has the same sound. K. K. Okay. Now let's look at these pictures and find out what they are. Kid. Do you hear? K kid. Kit. This is a first aid kit. You would have seen if anyone gets hurt at school, Miss Juno will bring this first aid kit box. It will have medicines, cotton, bandage. Yeah? When you get hurt or you, uh, if there is any blood, Miss Juno will bring this box, right? Okay, that's a kit. Keg. Keg is a container, it's a drum like container in which they'll keep water or oil or any drinks, they'll keep it inside it. Anything liquid, watery kind of things, they will keep it inside the keg. That's a king. K -k king. Kid. Kit. Keg. King. So here also you are going to write K, the letter K. Please remember now you are not going to write C, you are going to write K. So K, K, egg, keg. Where is the keg? Is this the keg? No. So draw a line to keg. Next, K, ing. 
king, king. Where's a king? Draw a line. Next one. K. Please write k, k, k id, k id, kid. Where is a kid? Join the line. Next one. Write a k, k, k it, kit. Where is the kit? There. Draw a line and match it. That is all. So children, is it easy? See, you only have to write the beginning letter. Okay? Either it is a C or a C or it will be a K. Both have the sound K. But in some words, you have these differences coming. You never know when to write C or when to write K. But when you practice doing in these workbooks, you will come to know how to read it. Okay? So you got it? Okay, do page number 1. 7 and 8 and for your classwork please do tomorrow on the page that is dated 1 November that sorry September that's tomorrow and this 1st of September okay children see you then I'll meet you in another video with uh, another class bye bye until then